Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-August 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. But let's go ahead and jump in and get started, Aquarius. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close for the last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're just going to take a general look at the remainder of August. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, um, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But let's see here, pulling a summary card, again, of what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have the card discernment. This is always a good reminder. You know, like age old saying, it's like, you are what you eat. You are who you surround yourself with. Um, you're picking up on everybody's energy and that energy is feeding you. So make sure you're surrounding yourself by the right people. You're eating the right foods. This is a reminder that you're influenced by your surroundings. Um, so always be providing yourself with the best surroundings as possible. This is just like a random example, but let's say you want to be a millionaire. The best thing you can do is surround yourself by millionaires with this discernment card. But I would say likely you have surrounded yourself with some really good people the last few weeks. Again, this is what's wrapping up and coming to a close. But let's take a look, Aquarius. The first card that we have is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very active. Um, it's an indicator of a new project or new idea. Um, it could be especially important who you surround yourself with because if you're around a bunch of people who are like, oh, that's not going to work out or that's a stupid idea or whatever it may be or they don't support the project or support your efforts, um, that can make things really challenging. But again, it does show something new, creative project or idea that's being started. The next card that we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional. It's very strategic. Um, very long term. I like to see the King of Swords here because I feel like this is the right thing to do long term. Whatever this new thing is, it's very exciting. It seems to be promising long term. It's not going to be like the flavor of the week. You pick it up and you're done with it. It seems to hang around for some time. The King of Swords can be a card of um, like getting professional help as well. So you may be leveraging a professional resource for whatever this new idea or project is as well. Um, and then at the bottom here we have the Temperance card. The Temperance card is a card of balance, harmony, uh, patience, self-control, moderation. I do feel like this new thing has taken a while to get going and get moving for you, but it does seem to be very well on its way now, Aquarius. Um, but again, there's like balance and harmony. This is something we enjoy. This is something we want to keep doing. Um, so really good energy. This could be like financial balance and harmony too. So there could be some money coming in from whatever this new project or idea is. But let's clarify this first column and see what other messages I can provide you. The first card is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of desire for long-term security. It's kind of neat because the other card that we had was the King of Swords, which again is that card of long-term. So whatever this is, you want it to work out. It's something you've wanted for a while, and again, it's something you want to work. Um, really good to see the King of Swords card, though, because it's almost your desires being answered in that first column. The next card that we have is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries. Um, it's also a card of being persistent. I do feel like for some of you, you kind of got to a stopping point or you were at a point where you needed some assistance. Um, but the main thing is to be persistent. Like I said, I don't see that you want to put this down, but it does feel long term. So make sure at no point in time you're giving up hope, you're throwing in the towel on this. Um, keep pushing forward. I don't know that things are going to be challenging, but life in general is challenging and busy. Um, so don't lose sight or lose focus on this new project. 
Then we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is, um, it has a couple different meanings. It can be a card of gifts. You see one person is handing the other person a gift here. This could also be a card of reunion. Um, but when I see this card, it's almost like a card of reflection. It's looking back on the past. I think for some of you, you're kind of looking back to where you've been, where you want to go. Um, and again, I feel like some of you were in this position where there wasn't a lot of balance, there wasn't a lot of harmony. Um, it's kind of like these events happened to move me forward to this new idea. Now we're going to take a look, Aquarius, at our next column, which is just general what's coming for the remainder of August. Let's see here. We have the card ready but waiting. Um, this card's pretty literal in its meaning. meaning um, it's likely there's something you want to move forward with, but other things may not quite be ready to go yet. Let's clarify and see, though. But potentially there could be some waiting going into the end of August. The first card that we have is the Lover's card. The Lover's card is a card of deep love, partnership, strength together, really, really wonderful love card. Um, there could be a new relationship coming in for some of you with this Lover's card, or this could be an indicator of the strength of a relationship. Um, if love is not your thing this month, not what you're looking for, another meaning of this card is a decision. Anytime we have two of something like this on a card, Aquarius, it could indicate a decision. So outside of the love meaning, there could be a decision that you're making this month. I would say given the ready but waiting card, I wouldn't make a hasty decision. Some of you could have been waiting for your relationship to advance as well. Like you could have been waiting for that engagement, that proposal, that marriage possibly a child. You could have even been waiting for somebody to ask you out, um, but there seems to be some love, uh, waiting on the love side as well. Moving on though, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of feeling unfulfilled. It's kind of a card of apathy, which makes sense. Again, I feel like some of you are waiting for this love advancement and it was taking some time. Um, and then some of you are just, again, not tied to love. But maybe not like feeling the best because of this waiting. You obviously would like this to happen quicker than it's happening for you this month, Aquarius. So this is kind of your feeling of meh as you have to wait for this thing to come together. Uh, again, be careful making hasty decisions. I don't know that you would be really happy with the outcome if you um, aren't making those careful decisions. So don't hesitate to take a little bit more time to make that decision. The next card that we have is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, delayed success, waiting. You see this person planted these pentacles and they're waiting for them to grow. Again, there's definitely some waiting going into the end of August here. But let's clarify what other messages I can give you. The first card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. So going back to what we just said with having two of something on the card like that indicating a decision. But it does seem like there is a choice here and you're kind of having to weigh your options through these. Perhaps that's why you shouldn't be making a hasty decision is because you need to get the detail. You need to take the time to weigh kind of the pros and cons. But you see this person doing this balancing act on the card here. Um, so do make sure you have lots of information and weigh your options, but definitely some sort of decision going into the end of this month. The next card that we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Um, I feel like some of you need to, like, tell yourself, okay, this isn't ideal, but it's going to be okay. Like, some of you are really bothered by this waiting or almost, like, feeling stuck. And this is, like, needing to reassure yourself that you're doing what you need to. Waiting is the right thing to do. Looking into your options is the right thing to do. And then when you do make the decision, the line on this card is a card of courage. So having the courage to move forward to make the decision. At the bottom here, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion, teamwork, travel. You could potentially be asking somebody to help you weigh these options. Um, look for that trusted person, that person you value their feedback. Um, but this could be related to travel plans or potentially an expansion of business or family as well. 
Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, anything that you associate with money, Aquarius. Let's take a look here. The first card that we have is the Magician. The Magician is a card of focused creativity. It's turning your visions into reality. It's very inspired action. I like the Magician card because really it's saying whatever you want, you can have. Um, so keep in mind when you're talking about money, career, finances, any of those things, whatever you want, you can have with the Magician. The next card that we have is the Justice card. The Justice card is one of those cards that's very favorable for you, Aquarius. It is a card of cause and effect and win-win solutions too. So it's like you've worked hard, now you get this. Again, that cause and effect type energy. Um, this could also be a card of truth coming out, so if we think in terms of like contracts, legal matters, things of the court, this does indicate a positive outcome in your favor. And then at the bottom here we have the death card. The death card is a card of changes, it's time to move on, it's transformation. Um, some of you could be wanting a new job, and this is the new job coming to you, some sort of career switch. Maybe you like want to stop working in corporate and start working for yourself, um, but a pretty significant change here. Um, big shift as it relates to money and career coming through for the end of the month. But let's see here. The first card that we have, the first clarifier, is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a very curious card. It can be a gossipy card if we're not careful, but it is a card of truth as well. You have two truth cards here. The Justice is saying truth comes out. The Page of Swords is saying truth comes out. Um, so do keep that in mind. You may need this truth to trigger truly what you want. You may like need some new perspective or more context before your path forward seems very clear. Um, if there is gossip or there is drama or there's water cooler talk or any of that kind of stuff, I would be cautious. Anytime I see this card, I always say, like, be cautious of the gossip, um, just because it takes away from what we want to be focusing on. With a magician, you can have whatever you want, so don't waste that energy on something like gossip. The next card that we have is the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness. With the case of the Ace of Swords, this is new idea, new mental clarity. Again, this truth is going to change you some way, somehow, some new perspective. I don't think a lot of you know what the next step is, but once you have this truth, then the ne next step and the new opportunity becomes very clear. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of, again, uh, excuse me, the card, the Six of Pentacles is a card of giving or receiving help. It's a very generous card. There have been a few cards in this spread where it's like you could be going to somebody for advice as you go through this transition. Um, in terms of generosity, I feel like with this truth, there could be money coming in as well, which again is enabling this next step. Maybe there is some sort of court settlement that's coming, then now you can start your own business. For some of you it won't be, but it does seem like with truth and with this information there's money as well that's enabling the transformation with the death card. Now moving on we're going to talk about anything related to love, so think family, friends, children, relationships, whatever you think of when you think of love, Aquarius. The first card we have is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a really good card. It's a card of wishes coming true, it's material abundance, it's good health. Um, if you or somebody in your family has been struggling with an illness lately, this is kind of a reprieve, this is getting better. Again, good health associated with this card. This is also, again, though, that card of wishes coming true, and it's interesting. You have the Magician saying you can have whatever you want, then you have the Nine of Cups in this column saying you can have whatever you want. So you can have whatever you want in love and money. Aquarius. Um, great card to have. Again, be focused on the things you want with these two cards. The next card that we have is the star card. The star card is a card of renewal, hope, inner clarity. Um, this could sometimes feel like a miracle. It's something that like catches you off guard. It just surprises you. Um, but going back, renewal and hope, I feel like some of you 
are wanting to enter into a new relationship you kind of have this new spark this new excitement to pursue a new relationship for some of you that were are in an existing relationship it kind of feels like it was in a lull and now this is like also reigniting that spark for you again focus on whatever you want you'll attract it to yourself with that nine of cups and then with the star card it's that renewal that hope that clarity that raising of the vibrations at the bottom here we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a very domestic card. So again, hoping to enter into a relationship, proposal, marriage, this is a great card for you. The Queen of Pentacles is also a very resourceful card and a card of fertility. So if you are hoping to expand your family, the Queen of Pentacles is a very great card for you as well. The first clarifier we have is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of self-defense and feeling like you need to protect yourself against competition. It's interesting here. I feel like some of you, again, are feeling like you need to protect yourself or defend yourself from something that's going on. But the Nine of Cups is saying, not really. I mean, whatever you focus on, you can have. In this case, some of you could be so focused on feeling like you need to defend yourself that possibly you're putting yourself uh, in the position where you do need to defend yourself. So if you're in this position, I would say don't overanalyze, but analyze the situation to see like, are you really having to defend yourself? Or are you just feeling like you need to defend yourself and from that point forward assess because again the nine of cups whatever you want you can have so be focusing on the things you want not some sort of energy like the seven of wands moving on to our next clarifier we have the temperance a really nice pairing between the star and the temperance card here temperance is a card of balance harmony the star card is renewal hope all wonderful things again I was saying the vibrations are raising um, so definitely higher energy higher vibrations coming for you going into the end of the month at the bottom here we have the five of swords the five of swords is a card typically of not very good relationships this is like bully theft violence abusive some sort of toxic relationship um, and I don't know that this is current relationship, but I do see some of you with the Queen of Pentacles kind of leveraging your resources to get away from this situation. And now that we're away, that very well could be driving that temperance and sun energy as well. Um, but this is like the moving forward card, taking a step forward, taking a step into a healthier relationship, um, potentially having children with a healthier relationship. Overall good energy coming through. Just watch out for those kind of worries, that self-doubt, some of that questioning, um, and moving on from that. Okay, let's take a look now at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card surface. This is important to remember. With this card, this is like about absorbing the good things and letting everything else bounce off of us. Um, so only take on the good things with the surface card here. Everything else just kind of rolls off Aquarius. But let's see what other messages I can give you. Again, this is messages from our future self or spirit guide, something to carry into the end of the month. The first card that we have is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, this card, both the horse and rider are moving very quickly. Um, so this does indicate some sort of quick change coming. And typically it's kind of big. It's like a lifestyle change. It's something relatively significant. We have the Devil card next. The Devil card is a card of envy, materialism, obsession. Um, when I see this card oftentimes lately, it's making sure that you don't over focus on something that's not what you want. It's interesting because you have two cards that are really good here, the Magician and the Nine of Cups, but then two kind of so-so cards on them. So it's like you're right on the border here. If you focus on the bad, you're going to get bad. If you focus on the good, you're going to get good. So be careful with the devil there, what you're focusing on. At the bottom here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a really good money card. It is typically large sum of money, retirement, inheritance. Um, this could also be like leaving a legacy though. So this is a shift for good. This is a long-term shift, whatever this change is that's coming.
The first card we have is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card of waiting. So with the Two of Wands, we know there's been some waiting, but quite nicely it's paired with the Knight of Swords, which is saying, okay, you've been waiting for this. We're finally going to have some movement here. We have that repeat Knight of Swords, which again is saying things are moving. Don't overthink it because it's moving forward. And then at the bottom here we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is very romantic, very much so a love card typically. This is like Prince or Princess Charming. Um, it could be marriage or proposal. But in terms of proposal, this could, could also be a business proposal. Um, it's not always a love relationship. So there is some sort of new long-term opportunity that's coming in. Possibly it's retirement. Possibly it's a new relationship or an advancement of a relationship. This could be a proposal of new money. We have really good money tied in with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, but all things to consider going into the end of this month. Now at this time, Aquarius, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. For question number one, we have the Five of Spades. This is the number six card. That's going to be a no. Question number two is the Jack of Spades. This is the number 52 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the Nine of Hearts. This is the number 16 card. That's also a yes. So no, yes, yes for you, Aquarius. We're going to take a look at your crystal of the month, which is from our Healing Stones deck. Your crystal is amber, which is good for creativity, warmth, it gives you a childlike candor um, and really helps you feel happiness and joy in life. All good things there. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck. This is uh, just a note to end on here. Um, our healing note says, Healing is not an overnight process. It's a daily cleansing of pain, a daily healing of your life. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscriptions help me greatly. So I very, very much so appreciate that. And if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Aquarius, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your August.